the challenges that um, I get personally, I can speak for myself, I don't know what other people go through are getting people to be in your music video is a challenge, like a huge challenge. You want to have a story that portrays black people or Africans in your video, but they will agree, you'll find people that, you know, um, do want to be in the music video. But when the time comes, they turn you down. Last minute. And it always happens the day before, um, let me say the night before the music shoot. And that's when they turn down. They're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't think I'll be able to um, come. And it is daunting, you know, especially when you're an upcoming musician or you're in the making. I mean, I am already in the making, you understand, I'm not upcoming anymore, I'm in the making. But it's really hard to find s someone or people that, you know, want to rock with you. Um, I feel like there is jealousy, um, envy and selfishness. Because it's not like they cannot make it, they do agree, um, they, they go on with it. Um, you tell them what is needed and everything, they are fine. They even tell you what they can bring um, in terms of um, dressing and whatnot. And then the problem when the time comes, they don't show up. They don't show up and their phones are turned off. They will not even say anything and that's it. And, um, you know, you have spent so much, you know, arranging um, the venue, you've booked, you know, you've paid a camera man. Um, it's, it takes a lot. But for that one person or those two people not turn up, it spoils everything because those people, at the end of the day, um, those people that you've, um, you know, contracted, at, and at the end of the day, they want to get paid. Of course, they will get paid for their um, services still. Um, it's not their fault. They turned up. It's those people that, you know, disappointed you. And, um, yeah, it's, it, is, it is daunting, you know. You kind of get discouraged because of that kind of behavior coming from African people in Australia. And I don't know why, because if you know that you're not going to be there, just say you don't want to be there. Um, or just say you cannot make it, you're sorry, so the person can move on to finding another person. But don't give people false ideas or false promises. Don't just, you know, lead on the person and then on the day you just kind of like, you know, turn off your phone. It's not cool. And so this happens with guys on my side, you know, like I'll get somebody, they'll be like, yeah, 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 when the time comes, their phones are off. And um, it's not nice. And this happens to be their Sudanese as well. And, you know, that they do that, you know, the people that do did that are Sudanese. And I had, um, and I had um, Ethiopians do that as well. And I had other nationalities. But majority of them, just black people in general, are just, you know, uh, uh, let down people. They just let you down flat out, you know. It's not nice. Yes, you will be expecting songs coming soon. I'm working on projects and I'm also working on my EP. Um, I didn't want to put it out there, but I am actually working on my EP but it's not gonna come anytime soon i'm thinking of until next year maybe easter um around that period period of time but yes i'll be dropping singles until then not from the ep you know the ep of course is gonna come up the ep it could be an album but we'll see how things go because um in the process of finding producers and whatnot. 
um, that I can work with. But if you know any good producer out there, please let me know. Send me an inbox. But I I want to work with different people on this um, EP stroke album. I want to make it nice. It's a blend of Kakwa songs and other songs. So it's going to be really, you know, nice, you know. If it happens to be an album, that's, that's fine. But let me say great songs, like great songs with great meanings. Um, and um, I'm all about the message um, in the song. My whole my whole point of doing music is to pass a message, you understand, to tell my story. I write my songs, you know, there's a story behind every song that I write. There's a reason behind every song I write. So expect great things from me. Um, yeah, it's going to be really good and stuff like that. Yes, she on Fire music hasn't come out. I don't know if it's gonna ever come out. Maybe I will have to shoot another one because the one that we shot didn't come out nice. And um, it's not that it didn't come out nice. The song sort of um, got messed up. The original song has a, you know, um, sort of like mid tempo and um, when we're shooting the music video we, we had a DJ um, who came to help us and you know because the song requires a DJ in the um, in the music video what happened the DJ kind of cranked a little bit the tempo and that little bit of it kind of screwed up um, you know the process when they were exporting things into now the final to to match it didn't match nothing was matching to sync let me say to sync you know nothing um we tried it didn't it couldn't sync so we just sort of like you know thought we can just shoot another one um that's the reason because no matter what we couldn't get the um uh, the old video to sync with um, the song because what we used to shoot the song, um, the song that we used was not the same as the original song. So that's what messed up um, the whole um, the whole music video. But inshallah, I will try and post um, the behind the scenes so you see. I had great support. Like the girls, you know, did turn up and they. They really, you know, did their thing, but unfortunately, we couldn't um, release the video because of that. And you don't want to release a video where, like, the lips don't sync to the song, and it's just, you know, uh -uh. it's just, uh -uh. we are all about perfection and stuff like that, so I don't want that to happen. Yes, we are working towards that, um, of course. We, we're trying to put a band together where like we can, you know, we want to have a very good band. Um, I want to do different, different version of the concert. Like, um, I'm not going to disclose everything here. But once everything comes together, um, we will be able to, you know, um, release a tiny bit like of information to you guys. But the version is going to be really amazing. Um, trying to put one or two things together. But once we get all that sorted, be ready to get all that tea. And we are coming stronger than before because this time mm -mm, we are not stopping at nothing. We are here to deliver the best, and I promise you that it will be, it will happen. <laughs> yes. Um, so we want to do a little bit of like a mini concert to introduce who Shida Florence is to the community first, and then we will then proceed to introduce Shida Florence to 
the whole Australia and then we will do you know tour it's gonna be amazing I I have good um, relationship with um, other promoters but um, yeah I'll definitely you know bring something to you guys that will make you happy and proud